Hello guys, this is Tosupa Med, and I am going to show you the answers of UGC NET December 2019 and I will just go through very fast so you have to just listen carefully and very fast question number one which of the following is the correct chronological order of publication of the following poems option one lamia paradise lost alastair the dance yard option two the dance yard alastair lamia paradise lost option three alastair the dance yard paradise lost lamia option four paradise lost the dance yard alastair lamia answer is option four question number two what is the order of publication of the following books of Noam Chomsky? Option A, Problems of Knowledge and Freedom. Option B, Aspects of the Theory of Syntax. Option C, Syntactic Structures. Option D, Knowledge of Language. Choose the correct option. The answer options, the right options are number 3. C, B, A, D. C, B, A, D. Question number 3. Which following Plato, following Plato, which two of the following statements about phantasm and semblance are correct? Option A, phantasm is an image while semblance is the real object. B, phantasm is the real object while semblance is only a resemblance. Option C, phantasm unlike resemblance, semblance has the same proportions as the object. D. Semblance is unreal but looks real as compared to phantasm. Answer is option 2. I mean C and D. Question number 4. Match the works with authors. Homi Bhabha, G.F.H. Sharpman, Edward Said, Julia Kristeva. Right option. Answer number 2. Homi, the location of culture. J.P. Hartman saving the text Edward Said Culture and Imperialism Julia Kristeva Desire in Language Question number 5 Which combination in following constitutes the trilogy or is Treya? Option 1 Agamemnon the Parsians Imendis Option 2 the Parsians, the Suppliants, Agamemnon. Option 3, Agamemnon, Euphoro, Eumenides, Eumenides. Option 4, 7 against Thebes, Agamemnon, the Suppliants. Answer is Option 3, Agamemnon, Euphoro, Eumenides. Question number 6, who among the following are associated with the judge for judge age? Option 1, Ernest Hemingway and Scott Fitzgerald, option two, Scott Fitzgerald and John Dos Passos, option three, John Dos Passos and Sherwood Anderson, option four, Ernest Hemingway and Sherwood Anderson, option one, Ernest Hemingway and Scott Fitzgerald. Question number seven. Which of the following fictional characters is in the right chronological order? Uncle Toby, Man Friday, Stephen Riddellas, Miss Havisham, Option 2, Stephen Riddellas, Man Friday, Uncle Toby, Miss Havisham, Option 3, Man Friday, Uncle Toby, Miss Havisham, Stephen Riddellas, Option 4, Miss Havisham, Uncle Toby, Stephen Riddellas, Man Friday, Answer is Option 3, Man Friday, Uncle Toby, Miss Havisham, Stephen Riddellas. Question number 8, which of the following work by Henry Fielding begins as a parody of Samuel Richardson's Pamela? Answer is option 4, Joseph Andrews. Question number 9, match the author with the story. Edgar Allan Poe, M. Foster, Catherine Mansfield, Mansfield Salman Rushdie. And right, right side option, the fall of the house of Usher, the prophet's hair, the garden party, the celestial omnibus. Answer is option 3. Edgar Allan Poe, the fall of the house of Usher, M. Foster, the celestial the celestial omnibus Catherine Mansfield the garden party Salman Rushdie the prophet's hair question number 10 which of the following describes Pockel's views on knowledge option A 
knowledge is not metaphysical or transcendental option b knowledge is not a matter of perspective option c knowledge is not pure or neutral but is always from a point of view option d knowledge is constrained by regimes of power answer is option 3 a and c question number 11 which of the following books carried the additional title sermon on the sea option one the religion of man by tagore option two essay one the gita by aurobind option three hind swaraj or hind indian home rule by gandhi option four christ and satyagraha by elwin answer is option three hind swaraj or indian home rule by indi gandhi question number 12 which three of the following writers are associated with kitchen sink drama option a arnold Wesker, option B, John Arden, option C, Sheila Delaney, option D, John Osborne. Here are appropriate options. Answer is question option 4, A, C, and D. A, C, and D, Arnold Wesker, Sheila Delaney, John Osborne. Question number 13. Which term among the following will be applicable to a situation in which a character initiates a scheme which depends for its success on the ignorance of the person against whom it is directed option a option on, on conflict option two intrigue option three alley option four folly a foil answer is option two intrigue question number 14 examples of poetic compounding are found in the work of which two modernist writers option a graham green option b james Wise, option c Gerald Manley Hopkins, option D, Stephen Spender, right answer is option 3, option 3 means B and C, James Joyce and Gerald Manley Hopkins. Question number 15, which two of the following correctly describe the features of Wuthering Heights? Option A, flashbacks and time shifts, option B, audible obsessions, option C, magic and ritual, option D, acute evocation of palace. Right answer is, right answer is option 3. A and D. Question number 16. Give, given below are two statements assertion and reason. Assertion A. Cultural studies is simply the study of culture as a discrete entity is reversed, divorced from its social and political context. Reason. Cultural studies aim to understand culture in all its complex forms and to analyze the social and political context within which it manifests itself. Answer is option 4. A is false but R is true. Question number 17. In which of the following Middle English poems is Hector a character? Option 1. Twilight and Crescidy. Option 2. Fires Plowman. Option C. The Seafarer. Option 4. Beowulf. Answer is option 2. Fires Plowman. Question number 18. Which two of the following works were published? After 1947, option A, the dark room, option B, the dust, the Mr. Sampath, a printer, printer of Malgudi, option C, seven summers, option D, the big heart. Answer is option two, B and C. Question number 19. In which of the following essays did Charles Lamb first use the pseudonym Persona Ilia? Option one, my first play, option two, the Two races of men. Option three, New Year's Eve. Option four, the South Sea House. Answer is option four, the South Sea House. Question number twenty. Given below are two statements: assertion and reason. Assertion only, only. Actual research develops research skills. Reason information is discrete, whereas knowledge consists of a network of connections. Answer is option two. Both A and R are true but r is not the correct explanation of a question number 21 which of the following descriptions delineate roman or clip novel by a novel with key option one a novel depicting the life of an artist from childhood to maturity option two a novel using the altered names of the actual people of the time option three a novel describing historical incidents with fictional characters option four a novel giving the effect of realism by highlighting the social problems of the time. Answer is option 2. Question number 22. 
which of the following is a collaborative work of W.H. Warden and Christopher Isherwood? Option 1. Letters from Iceland. Option 2. The Dance of Death. Option C. 3. The Ascent of F6. Option 4. The Orators. Answer is Option 3. The Ascent of F6. Question number 23. Match the theorist with the context. Option uh, left side. Option John Fisk. Option B. Michael D. Curtis. Option C. Pierre Bourdieu. Option D. Jean Fancois. Lottard. Right side option. Distinction. To the postmodern condition option three reading the popular option four the practice of everyday life answer is option one question number 24 which of the following set of characters in Carl's lamb novels is in the right chronological order mr bond v david corfield mrs mon nathaniel winkle option two David Corfield, Mr. Bond B, Nathaniel Winkle, Mrs. Mann. Option 3, Nathaniel Winkle, Mrs. Mann, David Copperfield, Mr. Bond B. Option 4, Mrs. Mann, David Copperfield, Nathaniel Winkle, Mr. Bond B. Answer is option 3. Question number 25. Which of the following statements are applicable to feminist criticism? Option, one, option, a, option a. Recuperate the female writers ignored by the canon. Option B. Fully endorse the social construction of gender. Option C. Valorize the traditional canon uncritically. Option D. Mostly reject the essentializing of male and female. Right answer is option 3. A and D. Question number 26. Who among the following prose writers of the Romantic period authored one murder considered as one of the fine arts? Option 1. Charles Lambs. Option 2. Walter Savage Lander. Option 3. Thomas De Quincey. Option 4. Anne Radcliffe. Answer is Option 3. Thomas De Quincey. 27. Question number 27. Which two of the following plays were written by Thomas Hewn? Option 1. Gorbodok. Option 2. The play called The Four PP. Option 3. The play of the weather. Option 4. The Spanish tragedy. Answer is Option 3. B and C. Question number 28. In the following list, which two actors belong to the Elizabethan period? Option 1. Richard Burbage. Option 2. Will Kemp. Option C. David Carrick. Option, uh, option 4. John Campbell. Answer is option 3. A and B. A and B. Question number 29. How often did Richard Stills Tatler appear? every week and how many issues of Tatler in total were published option three three times in a week to 71 issues question number 30 match the works with the authors option right left side option what is that mat matter option b a world of difference option c a literature of their own option d vamps and trams right side option camille paglia option two elaine so, Walter, option 3, Barbara Johnson, option 4, Judith Bartler, answer is option 3, option 3. Question number 31, in the following list, which two journals relate to the field of post-colonial literature? Option A, Kona Fifi, option B, Interventions, option C, Daedalus, option C, Clio. Op answer is option 4, A and B. Question number 32, which cultural analyst has Combine the study of different dimensions of youth culture with common commentary one developments in cultural theory and politics. Option one Angela McRobbie, option two da Donna Horaway, option three Linda Hutchinson, Hutchinson, option four Julia Christopher. Answer is option one. Question number thirty three. In the UNESCO definition, a pamphlet is an unbound publication that is not a periodical and contents. Option 1, no fewer than 5 and no more than 48 pages. Option 2, no fewer than 10 and no more, no more than 68 pages. Option 3, no fewer than 15 and no more than 64 pages. Option 4, no fewer than 20 and no more than 80 pages. Option 1 is the right answer. Question number 34. Which of the following arrangements of prose pamphlets is in the right chronological order? 1. The shortest way with decent tears of a modest proposal, aerophagetica, reflections on the revolution in France. Option 2. A modest proposal, 
the shortest way with the dissenters aerophagetica reflections one the revolution in france option three aerophagetica the shortest way with dissenters option uh, a modest proposal reflections one the revolution in france option four aerophagetica reflection one the revolution in france the shortest way with dissenters a modest proposal answer is option three Question number 35 given below are two statements assertion and reason. Assertion the primary component, form component in novelistic forms is a plot that evolves currently from its beginning to an end in which all complications are resolved. Of reason, the novel is constituted by a multiplicity of divergent and contending social voices that achieve their full significance only in the process, process of their dialogic interaction both with each other and with the voice of the another narrator answer is option two both a and r are two but r is not the correct explanation of a question number 36 which of the which of the following novels deal with the theme of apartheid option a purple hibiscus hibiscus option b julie's people option c cry the beloved country option d the mimic man Answer is option 3, B and C, Julie's people cry the beloved people. Question number 37, which of the following tales in Chaucer's country which tales deal with the murder of a child by Jews? Option 1, the monk's tale. Option 2, the second nun's tale. Option 3, the private's tale. Option 4, the shipman's tale. Answer is option 3, the private's tale. Question number 38. Which of the following periods of English literature is also called Puritan Interregnum? Option 1. The New Classical Period. The Carolinian Age. Option 3. The Restoration. Option 4. The Commonwealth Period. Option answer is Option 4. The Commonwealth Period. Option, question number 39. Who among the following has written a series of poems entitled Very Indian Poems in English? Indian English. 1. Vikram Shed. Option 2. Arun Kulatkar option 3, Nizi Musical option 4, Keki and Darwala. Answer is option 3, Nizi Musical. Question number 40. Which British administrator passed a resolution for the promotion of European literatures, literatures and science among the natives of Indian? Option 1, Lord Hastings. Option 2, Lord Cornwallis. Option 3, Lord Benting. Option 4, Lord Harding. Answer is option 3, Lord Benting. Question number 41. What is the correct chronological order of the publication of the following? Option 1. German grammar, Jacob Grimm. Option B. Comparative grammar of Sanskrit, Jain, Greek, Latin, Lithuanian, Gothic, and German, French, Bob. Option C. An investigation into the origin of Old Norse or Icelandic language, Rasmus Rask. Option D. Concerning the conjugation system of the Sanskrit language in comparison with those of the Greek, Latin, Persian, and German language fan Bob. Answer is option 3. C, D, A, B. Question number 34, 42. Which, are, which two of the following are associated with this deconstruction? Option A, Jax Derrida. Option B, Raymond of Williams. Option C, Paul D. Mann. Option D, Jonathan Dolly. Answer is option 2. A and C, Jax Derrida, Paul D. Mann. Question number 43. Match the poet with the opening line of the poem. Shelley. Coleridge, Keats, or Sot. Right side option, I cry your mercy, pity, love, I love. Option 2, the world is too much with us. Option 3, O oh, old, O oh, life, O oh, time. Option 4, when to love, once desire is love's pure, pure flame. Answer is option 1. Question number 44, which of the following is the proper explanation of the concept of free tax pyramid? Option 1 Analysis of the plot of a drama. Option 2 Analysis of the characters of a drama. Option 3 Analysis of the trim of conflict between a woman and two men in drama. Option 4 Analysis of the different types of drama. Answer is option 1. Question number 45 Which of the following, which, which two of the following are autobiographical narratives? Kantapura, Meatless Days, Prison and Chocolate Cake, The God of Small Things. Answer is option 2. B and C, B and C, Meatless Days, Fusion and Chocolate Cake. Of question number 46, which of the following movements was Arthur Simmons was referring to as an interesting disease and an over subtilizing refinement upon refinement? Option 1, Celtic Revival. Option 2, Re Romantic Movement. Option 
थ्री डेकरेंस ऑप्शन फोर फेमिनिज्म आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री डेकरेंस क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी सेवन द की फिगर्स इन दिव डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ब्रिटिश कल्चरल स्टडीज आर ऑप्शन वन रिचर्ड होगर्ड ऑप्शन बी रेमंड विलियम्स ऑप्शन सी स्टुअर्ट वॉल ऑप्शन डी लॉरेंस ग्रॉसबर्ग आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री ए बी एंड सी क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी एट द फॉलोइंग इज अ लिस्ट ऑफ की क्रिटिकल टर्म्स व्हिच इज व्हिच इज द राइट क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर ऑफ देयर फॉर्मेशन ऑप्शन वन लैंगुआ द अनकॉन्शियस डिफरेंस हेयर से ऑफ पैराफेज ऑप्शन टू द अनकॉन्शियस लैंगुआ हेयर से ऑफ पैराफेज डिफरेंस ऑप्शन थ्री डिफरेंस लैंगुआ हेयर से ऑफ पैराफेज द अनकॉन्शियस ऑप्शन फोर लैंगुआ डिफरेंस ऑन द अनकॉन्शियस हेयर से ऑफ पैराफेज आंसर इज ऑप्शन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर्टी नाइन हुई टू हीरोज टू हीरोज विद द सेम नेम ऑप्शन वन आइसलैंड द आइसलैंड ऑफ द माइटी ऑप्शन टू द जर्मन गॉडेज ऑप्शन थ्री एनिमल फॉर्म ऑप्शन फोर आर्मोडल आंसर इज ऑप्शन फोर आर्मोडल क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग हुई ऑफ द हुई कंडीशन ऑफ द सब लाइन अकॉर्डिंग टू लॉन्गिनास द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट कंडीशन इज विगुरास ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ आंसर वन ऑप्शन वन भिगुरा स्टेटमेंट ऑफ पैसेंस ऑप्शन टू मेजिस्ट्री ऑफ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑप्शन थ्री अ लॉफ्टी कास्ट ऑफ माइंड ऑप्शन फोर अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ थॉट्स आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री अ लॉफ्टी कास्ट ऑफ माइंड क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी वन हु सेट द फॉलोइंग डिस्कर्सिव डिस्कर्सिव प्रैक्टिस आर नॉट प्योरली एंड सिंपली मोड्स ऑफ मैनुफेक्चर ऑफ दिस कोर्स दे टेक सेप इन टेक्निकल एनसेम्बल्स in institutions in behavioral schemes in types of transmission and dissemination in pedagogical forms that both impose and maintain them option 1 ronald wards option 2 michael fockold option 3 homike bhaba option 4 gayatri chakravarti i spivak option answer is option 2 michael fockold question number 52 what is the chronological order of the appearance of the following periodicals option A the title option B the spectator option C the examiner option D the reflector option 1 B A D C option 2 C B A D option 3 A B C D option 4 D A B C answer is option 3 A B C D question number 53 which two names from R M Ballantine's Coral Island are repeated in William Golding's rework reworking of the same text as Lord of the Flies option a rough option b roger option c jack option d simon correct option is 1 a and d option 2 a and c option 3 c and d option 4 b and d answer is option 2 a and c question number 54 which of the following plays by t s eliot is in the correct chronological order of publication option 1 mother, mother in the murder in the cathedral the family reunion the cocktail party the confidential clerk option 2 the cocktail party the confidential clerk the family family reunion mother, mother in the cathedral option 3 the family reunion the cocktail party murder in the cathedral the confidential clerk option 4 the confidential clerk mother murder in the cathedral the cocktail party the family reunion answer is 1 mother murder in the cathedral the family reunion the cocktail party the confidential clerk question number 55 which two concepts developed by the french socialist fair body have become increasingly influential in cultural studies option a dissemination option b genesis option c cultural capital option d habitus correct choose correct option 1 a and c 2 b and c option 3 c and d option 4 b and d answer is option 3 question number 56 which three of the following poets figure in william dunbar's lament for the makers option a geoffrey chaucer option b john gower option c robert uh, robert henderson option d william langlard so is the most appropriate option 1 a b and d option 2 a b and c option 3 b c and d option 4 a c and d answer is option 2 A B C. Question number fifty-seven. Match the characters with the play. Left option: Donald Bain, Claudio, Nerissa, Gonril. Right option: King Lear, Macbeth, Merchant of Venice, Miser for Miser. Option: Choose the correct option. A. 
आंसर इज ऑप्शन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी एट हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कॉम्बिनेशन बेस्ट डिस्क्राइब द टिपिकल मेथोलॉजिकल मेथोडोलॉजी ऑफ लिटरेरी रिसर्च ऑप्शन वन रिस डायरेक्ट इम्पेरिकल एंड क्वान्टिटेटिव ऑप्शन टू फोनोमोनोलॉजिकल फोनोमोनोलॉजिकल स्पेकुलेटिव एंड एबस्ट्रैक्ट ऑप्शन थ्री टेक्सटल क्रिटिकल एंड हिस्टोरिकल ऑप्शन फोर सिनोप्टिक कॉन्सेपचुअल एंड स्पेकुलेटिव आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री टेक्सटुअल क्रिटिकल एंड हिस्टोरिकल क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी नाइन हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट वन लैंगुआ इज द लैंगुएज सिस्टम एंड पैरोल द इंडिविजुअल यूजेस ऑप्शन टू लैंगुएज द इ लैंगुएज यूजेस एंड पैरोल द इंडिविजुअल सिस्टम ऑप्शन थ्री लैंगुएज इज द लैंगुएज इन एवियंस एंड पैरोल द इंडिविजुअल एप्लीकेशन ऑप्शन फोर लैंगुएज इज द लैंगुएज कलेक्टिव एंड पैरोल द इंडिविजुअल डिविएशन आंसर इज ऑप्शन वन लैंगुआ इज द लैंगुएज सिस्टम एंड पैरोल द इंडिविजुअल यूजेस क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी सिक्सटी हुई एम द फॉलोइंग ग्रुप ऑफ group of writers is labeled as university weights option 1 thomas lodge thomas wilson walter rale option 2 john fletcher ben johnson george field option 3 john thomas kidd francis beaumont uh, john lilly option 4 christopher marlow robert green thomas nash of answer is option 4 61 which two of the following poems can be categorized as poems belonging to the new classical period of english literature option A the ring and the book option B the vanity of human wishes option C cato option D lamia choose the correct option 1 A and B B B and C 3 C and D 4 A and D answer is option 2 B and C question number 62 who among the following theorists believes that the is proliferation of television images is producing a cultural condition akin to historical amnesia option 1 John Baudrillard option 2 Ehab Hasan option 3 Frederick Jameson option 4 Daniel Bell answer is option 3 Frederick Jameson question number 63 how many tales and pilgrims are there in Chaucer's the canterbury tales option 1 24 pilgrims and 23 tales option 2 23 pilgrims and 24 tales option 3 22 pilgrims and 24 tales option 4 24 pilgrims and 22 tales actually the answer is wrong but here the most probably the answer is 23 pilgrims and 24 tales question number 64 which two of the following novels belongs to the victorian age in english literature one pendennis b the way of wolf flesh option c the battle of the books option d Worcester Towers. Choose the correct option. One A and C, two B and D, three C and D, four A and D. Answer is option four A and D. Question number sixty-five. Match the periodicals with their writers, contributors. R left options: The Rambler, Macmillan's Magazine, The Guardian, The Guardian, The Bentley's Miscellany. Right side option: Charles Dickens, Samuel Johnson, David Mason, Richard Steele. Answer is option three. A two B three C four D one. Question number sixty-six. Which of the following plays by Ben Jonson ends with the performance of a puppet play in invitation of Marlowe's hero and lender? Option one: The Alchemist. Two: Wolfman. Three: Bartholomew Fair. Four: Every man in his humor. Answer is option three. Bartholomew Fair. Question number sixty-seven. Which of the following? Which one of the following titles of Robert Browning's works means to disport in the open air to amuse oneself at random? Answer option: Joko Seria two, Andrea Del Sarto three, Abd Vogler option four, Asolando. Answer is option four, Asolando. Question number sixty-eight: Which arrangement of these Lawrence's novels is in the correct chronological sequences? Sequence one. Kangaroo, the film, Serpent, Sons and Lovers, the Rainbow. Two, Sons and Lovers, the Rainbow, Kangaroo, the film, Serpent. Three, the Rainbow, the film, Serpent, Kangaroo, Sons and Lovers, the Rainbow. Four, the Rainbow, Kangaroo, the film, Serpent, Sons and Lovers. Answer is two. Answer is options two. Sons and Lovers, the Rainbow, the Kangaroo, the film, Serpent.
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी नाइन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कैरेक्टर्स इन शेक्सपियर्स लव्स लेवर्स लॉस लेवर लॉस ओवर यूजेस फॉर्मल लेटिनेट डिक्शन वन ऑलोफर्नेस टू डाल थ्री क्वेस्टर्ड फोर मॉथ आंसर इज वन ऑलोफर्नेस क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी इन पैडस लॉस्ट मिल्टन इन बुक्स इज हेवनली म्यूज यूरनिया एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ विच टू बुक्स ए बुक वन बी बुक फोर सी बुक नाइन डी बुक सेवन चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन ए एन डी टू बी एन सी थ्री सी एन डी फोर बी एन डी आंसर वन ए एन डी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी वन ऑफ द विच ऑन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नॉवेल्स बाई किंग्स लैम किंग्स लैम इज रिप्रेजेंट्स इट्स प्रोटेगोनिस्ट एज एन एंग्री यंग मैन ऑप्शन वन आई लाइक इट हियर टू लक जिम थ्री द बायोग्राफर्स मोस्टेज फोर द ग्रेट मैन लक जिम क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी टू मैच द फॉलोइंग टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट्स इम्पैक्टिंग लर्निंग एंड टीचिंग ऑफ लैंग्वेज एंड देयर कॉरेस्पॉन्डिंग ईयर्स ए हाइपर टेक्सट मार्कअप लैंग्वेज एच टी एम एल B. Streaming of video on the internet. C. MySpace. dot com. C. D. Facebook. Right side option. Two thousand four, two thousand three, nineteen ninety one, nineteen ninety seven. Answer is option one. A. Three. B. Four. C. Two. D. One. Question number seventy three. Who are the co editors of Chartifying Chartifying English? The phenomenon of English. Option A. Jamuna Kasru. ऑप्शन बी रीता कोठारी ऑप्शन सी रॉबर्ट सिनेल ऑप्शन डी एलेस्टर फेनिकोक चूज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन वन एन डी टू एन बी थ्री बी एन सी फोर बी एन डी आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री बी एन सी क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी फोर हु एमंग द फॉलोइंग प्रोपोज दैट द द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज इज मैन मेड नॉट वोमेन मेड वन मैरी हैज टू डोरथी रोथी एल सेयर्स थ्री डेल स्पेंडर फोर कैरोल चॉम्सकी आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री डेल स्पेंडर सेवेंटी फोर हाउ मेनी सिलेबस आर देयर इन द वर्ल्ड इन टन सिक्स सिक्स सीजेंटली ऑप्शन वन थ्री ऑप्शन टू फोर सिक्स ऑप्शन थ्री फाइव ऑप्शन फोर फोर आंसर इज ऑप्शन थ्री फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवेंटी सिक्स व्हाट डज सॉक्रिस मीन वेन इन प्लेटोज आयन He says poets are nothing but the interpreters of God. Option one: the poets are the markers of their poems. Two: the poets are accurately aware of God in composing their poems. Three: the poets are divinely possessed when they compose their poems. Option four: the poets have first heard what God said, then put that into words. Answer is option three. The poets are divinely possessed when they compose their poems. Question number seventy-seven. In which of the following works is the character Ariel an ex an exclusion? Option one, the tempest. The tempest. Option two, Paradise Lost. Option three, the Rape of the Lock. Option four, the Rhyme of the Ancient Ancient Mariner. Answer is option four. Seventy-four, seventy-eight. Which two aspects of cultural diffusion in the In the age of globalization, need to be addressed by pedagogy of language in general and of English in particular. One, unidirectionality. B, multidirectionality. C, complex and extensive. Option D, simplistic and abbreviated. So, is the correct option A and B? Uh, one, A and B. Two, B and C. C, three, C and D. Four, D and A. Answer is option three. Question number seventy-nine. From whose work? Did John Milton take the epitaph, epigraph to his Areopagitica? Option one, Sophocles. Option two, Euripides. Option three, Plato. Option four, Moore. Answer is option two, Euripides. Question number eighty: Which of the following stylistic features characterize spoken discourse? A. Greater use of explicit, explicit connectives. Option B. Greater dependent dependence on non-verbal connectives. Option C. C. Greater syntactic embedding. Option D. Greater use of fillers and repetitions. Choose the correct option. One A and B. Two B and C. Three C and D. Four B and D. Answer is option four. Question number eighty-one. Match the author with the text. Left side option. Rita Kotari. B. 
B. Pubal Dasgupto C. Braj B. Kasru Option D. Baljinder Ki Mahal Right side option The Queen's English The Indus Indianization of English 3. Translating India Option 4. The Otherness of English Answer is Option 2. A3, B4, C2 and D1. Question number 82. Match the types of writing with their descriptions. Left side option exegesis. Option B. Invective. Option C. Hagiography. Option D. Apology. Right side option in writing. Writing about sense lives. Option 2. Detailed explanation of a passage. Option 3. A defense or justification of one's actions and beliefs. Option 4. A bitterly critical attack of something. Answer is option 1. A2, B4, C1, D3. Question number 83. Given below are two statements, assertion and reason. Assertion. Dialects are the broad range of social as well as regional varieties. Option uh, reason. And a dialect describes variations not only at the phonological level but also at the levels of lexis and syntax. In the light of the above two statements, choose the correct option. Answer is option two. Both A and B are both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Question number eighty-four. Who made the remark? Great literature is simply language searched with meaning to the utmost possible degree. Option 1, Ravina Tiger. Option 2, Ezra Pound. Option 3, W.B. Yates. Option 4, T.S. Eliot. Op answer is Option 2, Ezra Pound. Question number 85. Which one of W.M. Thackeray's novels as, has the following as the closing sentence? Which of us is happy in this world? Which of us has hit his desire? Or having it? is satisfied option one the luck of barry lyndon option two pendennis option three vanity fair option four history of henry is born answer is option three vanity fair question number 86 which two principal kinds of mineral melancholy are proposed by robert burton in volume three of anatomy of melancholy option a love option b religious option c morbid option d psych the correct option is a and option A, option 1, A and B, 2, A and C, 3, B and D, 4, C and D. Answer is option 1, A and B. Question number 87. Given below are two statesmen, assertion and reason. Assertion, many modern British writers influent, infused their works with an extreme sense of uncertainty, disillusionment and despair of reason. The wasteland ends in a flurry. Flurry of random allusions. In the light of the above two statements, uh, choose the correct option. Option A, both answer is option 2. Both A and R are true, but R is not the correct explanation of A. Question number 88 Which two aspects of cultural diffusion in the age of globalization need to be addressed by pedagogy of language in general and of English in particular? A, un A Option A, unidirectionality. Option B, multidirectionality. Option C, complex and extensive. Option D, simplistic and abbreviated. Actually, this question is repeated. Choose the correct option. 1, A and B. 2, B and C. 3, C and D. 4, D and A. Answer is option 2, B and C. Question number 89. Which one of the following abbreviation, observation of lost generation, a term coined by Gertrude Stein, is correct? 1. German Jews who survived the Second World War and went to Israel. Option 2. The American expatriates in Europe after the First World War. Option 3. The Irish freedom fighters of the early 20th century. Option 4. The Europeans living in America. Option 2. The American expired patriots in Europe after the First World War. Question number 90. Which of the following is true of Aristotle's critical position? Option 1. Writers are likely to be mere entertainers who appeal to the emotion and passions of audience. Option 2. Texts created by poets are almost inevitably 
inaccurate and defective as imitation. Option 3 The best artistic text will be both complex and ununified. Every part of the work will be essential to it and will be linked to every other part. Option 4 Text should be judged on the basis of how accurate it is truth. Answer is option 3. Question number Here is a comprehension question. Home is so sad it stays as it was left, safety shaped to the comfort of the last to go as if to win them back instead bereft of anyone to please it with us so having no heart to put aside the theft and turn again to what is started as a joyous heart at how things ought to be long fallen wide you can see how it was look at the pictures and cutlery the music in the piano stole that bass question number 91 there is a thief in the poem who is that thief option one the time and that ticks away the fate that overpowers the tenant who lives the past that becomes answer is option three the tenant who lives question number 92 why has the home withered option one because everything has to fade sooner to le or later option two because it has no longer the reason to be what it was option three because it is an organic entity in any case option four because it has been betrayed categorically option two answer is option two because it has no longer reason to be what it was Question number 93. How was the how was the home before it became sad? Option is 1. It was as it would be. Option 2. It was as it shall be. Option 3. It was as it should be. Option 4. It was as it could be. Answer is option 3. Question number 94. Why is the home sad? Option 1. Because it has waited in vain. Option 2 because it remains unchanged. Option 3 because its joy has faded. Option 4 because it is devoid of residence. Answer is option 1 because it has waited in vain. Question number 95. According to the worth of thoughtless actions, 1. Torment others. Option 2. Are strictly not misdemeanors. Option 3. Mean nothing and are soon forgotten. 4. Are punishments for children. Answer is option 3. Here another passage. Lying is an accursed vice. It is only other words, our words which bind us together and make us human. If we realize the horror and weight of lying, we would see that it is more worthy of the stake than other crimes. I find that people normally waste time quite inappropriately punishing children for innocent misdemeanors tormenting them for thoughtless actions which lead nowhere and leave no trace. It seems to me that the only faults which we should vigorously attack as soon as they arise and start to develop are lying and a little below that stubbornness those faults grow up with the children once let the tongue acquire the habit of lying and it is astonishing how impossible it is to make it give it up that is why some ad otherwise decent men are uh, object eleven to it one of my tellers is a good enough fellow but i have never heard him one once speak the truth not even when it would help him if he did so question number 96 how does lying affect human relations option one it makes the relationship human option two it reduces the affinity among people option three it promotes togetherness among diverse people option four it does not affect at all as it is merely odds answer is option two question number 97 it is suggested in the passage that the tailor does never speak the truth because one he cannot Keep the word he gives. Option two, he does not know lying is a crime. Option three, he thinks lying will help him. Option four, he is a slave of his profession. 
option one answer is option one he cannot keep the word he gives question number 98 lying is a fault that should be punished only on option one when the first lie is uttered option two when it becomes convenient option three when it becomes stubborn option four when it begins to turn into a habit answer is option four question number 99 read the following passage from antigone and answer question Creon, and yet word bold enough to break the law antigone yeah for these laws were not ordained by zeus and see who, see who sits enthroned with gods below justice enacted not these human laws nor did i deem that though thou a mortal man couldst by a breath annual and override the immutable unwritten laws of heaven the three kinds of laws implicit in antigone's response are one human unwritten written option two of gods of zeus of justice option three of gods of justice of man option four of man of heaven of zeus answer is option th three question number 100 it was the best of times it was the worst of times it was the age of wisdom it was the age of foolishness it was the spoke of, of belief it was the spoke of incredulity it was the season of light it was the season of darkness it was the spring of hope it was the winter of despair we had everything before us we had nothing nothing before us we were all going direct to heaven we were all going direct all other way in short the period was far like the present period that some of its noisiest possibilities instead insisted on its being received for a degree of comparison only. The age described in the above passage is best described as the age of option one, parallelism, option two, inconsistencies, option three, contraries on option four, anomalies. Answer is option three. So guys, if you have not subscribe my channel till now please subscribe as soon as it is possible thank you if you like my video please share comment and